Hey traders, this is Mike Sir here. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are day trading US stocks, knowing how to read level two market data is especially important because it gives you a gauge on the demand and supply of any given stock. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what level two data is, why you should learn how to read it, and how to interpret this data for you to gain an edge in day trading. Now please stick till the end of the video as I will show you how I use level two data in real time trading. Now for those who are swing traders, position traders, or even investors, stick around so that when you meet a day trader at a party, you can also speak their lingo. So let's get started. First off, let me tell you what level two market data is. In simple terms, it's basically stock market data that shows buyers and sellers lining up to buy or sell a specific stock. Now, when the buyer and seller agree to a certain price, then the trade is executed. The level two screen shows the full order book for a given stock, ranked by the bid prices from the buyers on one side and ask prices from the sellers on the other side. It's like what you saw in the movie Trading Places, where you see the two main characters shouting back and forth with other traders. In fact, before the stock market became more digitized, all trades were conducted on the floor of the stock exchange where there's a marketplace of buyers and sellers for any given stock. Basically, level two quotes give you a detailed insight into the stock's price direction. Before I share with you how to read level two quotes, this video is sponsored by Moomoo, one of the best trading platforms for US residents to trade US stocks through Foo2 Inc. Now, what I like about them is they offer free real-time level two quotes from the NYSE ARCA book, one of the top three electronic securities exchanges. As I'll show you in the rest of this video, this data gives you a huge competitive advantage in your day trading. As well, the exchanges normally charge monthly fees for level two data, but as a user of Moomoo, you get it for free. In addition, they offer $0 commission trading available to US residents who trade US stocks, ETFs, and ADRs through Foo2 Inc. Please click on the link below to open up a Futu Inc. brokerage account today, and you will also get a free share of General Motors stock guaranteed from Moomoo. Lastly, I'll be using Moomoo's trading platform in this video to show you how I interpret level two data. So let's get back to the video. When you look at a level two quote, you'll see a window with two sections, bid prices and ask prices. Now bid prices are on the left and represent traders who are wanting to buy the stock. Also it shows the total number of shares that buyers wish to buy at the corresponding price. The bid prices are arranged in descending order with the highest bids at the top and lower bids following below. The ask prices are on the right and represent traders wanting to sell the stock. Also it lists the total number of shares that sellers wish to sell at the corresponding price. The ask prices are arranged in ascending order with the lowest ask at the top and higher prices following below. Now let's take a look at three different types of market participants and how to interpret their actions. The first type of market participants are called market makers. They literally make the market by providing liquidity in the marketplace so that there's always buyers and sellers in a given stock. They serve an important purpose in the financial markets because they are required to buy when nobody else is buying and to sell when nobody else is selling. This ensures that there's always demand and supply for any given stock at any given time. The most important market maker is called the AX. And if you can figure out who the AX is, then you have a significant advantage over other traders. The reason is the market maker consistently dominates the price action in the stock. And if they're buying or selling, then it could signal a potential price reversal. The second type of market participants are referred to as ECNs or electronic communication networks. Now, ECNs are computerized order placement systems and anyone, including large institutional traders, can trade through ECNs. Their purpose is to quickly match buyers and sellers looking to trade stocks without a third party broker being involved. The third type of market participant are called wholesalers. They trade stocks for institutional clients and various broker dealers who are not registered as market makers in certain stocks. Now, these wholesalers deal in large volume trades, often referred to as dark pools, which are essentially private exchanges for trading stocks unaccessible by the investing public. They mainly help facilitate block trading by institutional investors who do not wish to impact the markets with their large order sizes. In addition, 
These wholesalers execute orders on behalf of their online brokerage clients like Robinhood or any discount broker that you normally deal with. Typically beside the level two screen, you'll see what's called a time and sales box. Once there's a match between the bid and ask price, then it usually results in a trade. Now these trades are listed in the time and sales box, kind of like a transaction log and shows you the price, quantity and time of each trade executed. Now by observing the trade prices, it can actually help you determine which direction the stock price is likely to move in. Before I discuss how to trade utilizing level two market data, please take a moment to like this video. I will really appreciate your support. So let me answer the question that you may be wanting to ask. Do you need to use level two market data or can you just rely on the charts? Well, the answer is it depends. Now, some day traders will say they don't need to trade utilizing level two market data or some would say they don't need charts to trade. But let me tell you the main reason why day traders can benefit from trading with level two market data. So let's just say, for example, a chart shows all the trade prices after they have been executed and displays it in a visual manner for you to view. But what if you can see all the buying and selling pressure of a stock in real time in an auction type of environment has buyers and sellers jockey for a position? Would that help you? Well, of course it would. So level two market data can be a good indicator of buying action. So for example, if you see bid prices creeping higher, which means that buyers are willing to pay more and they're raising their bids in the hopes that their prices get accepted, then it signals buying pressure and the stock price would probably go up. In addition, if you see buyers with relatively bigger bid order sizes, then that can signal that buyers have an appetite for bigger purchases. And if sellers have limited supply, then demand can outweigh supply and push the stock price higher. Lastly, if you watch the time and sales window and see that prices are being executed at the ask price, this means that buyers are not waiting in line to bid on the stock, but rather paying at the ask price. Now this means that demand is high and buyers are willing to pay market price right away so they can be guaranteed the stock right away. Now this means that the stock price can go higher. Another good reason to use level two market data is in combination with utilizing real time charts. So let me give you an example. Let's say you see a major price resistance level at a specific price on a chart and you want to buy once the price breaks above that resistance level. Well, by watching the activity in the level two window, you can determine whether there is enough buying pressure to push the stock price above the resistance level. And once the price goes above the resistance level, is there enough buyers to keep pushing the price higher? Well, you can see all this activity in the level two screen. Level two market data is a very useful tool for day traders but you need to be aware of tricks that traders would use to manipulate this data. First, big buyers or big sellers will try to hide their order sizes by placing multiple small orders. This way you won't be able to see big bids or big asks, thus making level two data not very useful. Second, if you trade a very, very active stock with lots of buyers and sellers, it can be quite overwhelming to read the level two data because the order book prices can change so quickly on a second by second basis, thus making the data hard to interpret. Third, there's price manipulation that goes on as some buyers or sellers can place a large order to buy or sell only to cancel the order and trap other traders, hence making the level two data unreliable. Having said this, level two quotes can be immensely helpful in deciphering the specific price action of a particular stock. The more that you know about the price action, the better that you can determine if the stock suits your individual trading strategy. And like I said, with any trading tool or strategy, never just use one to make a buy or sell decision. Level two quotes are no different. So let me show you a live example utilizing level two. So this is a Tesla stock and we're looking essentially to buy above $799. So I want you to focus on the right hand side of your screen and I want you to focus on the uh, orange bars. So essentially we're looking to see the price increase above 799. So you can see here it went above 799 right now. And you can see the bids are starting to pile up on the blue side. 
and you start to see that the price of seven yep yeah, you can see 799 above now it's 800 okay it's 800 above 800 so you can see the prices are still going up and you start to see that actually there is starting to be a little bit more sellers but the buyers are still quite strong okay now you can see a lot of this the sellers, but they actually the sellers are being taken out Okay, looks like we'll probably might be taking out. Okay, there you go. Eight broke 801. So right now the buyers and sellers seems to be quite balanced. Okay, now sellers are starting to starting to increase a bit. You can see, but then you can see the the blue buyers. You can see a lot of hundred or hundred share orders. Okay, now it broke below 801. Okay, starting to see a little bit lower momentum. And actually, it looks like uh, there's more sellers now. And probably this time would be a good time to take your profits. So you can see here, now we can see now more and more sellers. You can see on the right hand side of your screen, on the orange bar, you can see more, more sellers. The numbers are getting bigger. Okay, so you can see this is a perfect example where we're essentially looking at a potential resistance level. So you utilize the charts to define where the resistance levels are. And what you're essentially utilizing is the level two to help you gauge what's the buying interest and or in terms of here, the, the sellers, uh, if the selling price is uh, slowly increasing, then it tells you that the buyers are buying up the stock at whatever price. And there's a big chance that the price will go up. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to watch other videos where I show you all the tools that I use on a daily basis to analyze the financial markets, please click on the left for more videos and click on the right for the full playlist. I'll see you in the next video.